a little bit of an update video about what I've been doing with the studio here and what reviews are coming up soon and that kind of thing. So uh, I was actually going to film this video with the new uh, Covacam gimbal I got. My batteries are out on that so I'm actually just charging it now. Really awesome gimbal, I'll have a review about this soon. It's uh, 270 pounds, including shipping. It has replaceable batteries, uh, you know, just the standard uh, torch batteries, whatever they're called. The, the ones that look like really big double A's and can power via an external port as well. So it charges the batteries as well. So you don't have to take them out. All tool free, probably the fastest uh, gimbal to balance and set up that I've used so far. It doesn't have a joystick. So I'll have a review about this soon, but uh, surprisingly awesome little gimbal. For the price and uh, for those of you that saw the last video where i broke this thing i did actually uh, fix that quite nicely if i do say so myself i got a new stapler which i am so damn happy with i've had this thing for about a month now and i've already gone through a pack of 2000 staples and i am loving this thing it's just awesome cordless glue gun i made this upgrade to my uh, cycling desk thing so it's a wood frame on the underneath and then uh, some foam some really nice soft foam and then some nice leather or suede on top of that and i also got the pixar pro 100d mark ii plus which is the same as the mark ii that i reviewed a few weeks ago but it runs on a battery as well so it actually uses just a standard v-mount batteries and uh, so you can get it uh, i guess with and without a battery but basically it's got you know this plate that you plug the battery into and the plate has a cable going to there and uh, as far as i know these will be available in march but you can pre-order them uh, i'll have links below and i will have a link below to the video about this uh, as soon as i make that and i also put my first aid kit right here so i've got quick access to it in case i get aids and i've organized my cupboards i made shelves the canova j2 jib way overdue for review so that'll be coming very soon that's the lopra bag that i actually just need to sell i've already reviewed that the varavon gimbal that's going to get reviewed soon this is the case for the uh, Covacam Digi gimbal. And I also got a new jib from iFootage, which I'll be reviewing, and a new tripod from iFootage, which I'll be reviewing soon. This is the Aperture DEC wireless follow focus. And I've already reviewed this, but the reason it's still here is that someone broke it. Yay, how fun is that for me? I got two of these lights from Magnaflash, under 40 pounds each and you know have a, quite a big surface area and so you know for the price i think some people might like these and i'll have a review about those soon and the covacam easy rig which is uh, sort of like a vest for holding up gimbals so you know you've got like a like an arm that goes above your head and then a string drops down so you know it holds your gimbal for you and this is a bag full of empty cases batteries and crap like that over here there's a few drawers with things i need to review and then the rest is just stuff i need to sell on ebay my old crappy computer i had to get a new printer because the other one was being a dick as printers usually are and so i just got the cheapest one you know just uh, 35 pounds or something and that's uh, mostly just empty cases and so i've also got these uh, skateboards here up on the wall as uh, sort of as decorations but also because you know they can come off the wall to actually be used and uh, I think it looks quite nice. And this is the one I'm currently using. Uh, quite a funky looking uh, board, which is uh, new. And these, which I've had for ages, and uh, actually everything here is really cheap, with the exception of these trucks made by Carver. And they basically allow you to carve, you know, to turn really sharp. And it's supposed to sort of emulate sort of uh, surfing on land sort of thing. And uh, I mean, they are, they are really fun. I've been using them loads since I got them and absolutely love them. And so they were 120 pounds, which is super expensive, but worth every penny. And then all the other ones were really cheap. So it's like 12 pounds, 15 pounds, that was free. That was uh, 16 pounds or something. These two were free, this one I broke. And this was the one that I was using for ages with, uh, you know, with those trucks. And this was my first proper skateboard, which I got for my 14th birthday from my mum. The bathroom is still the same as it was before, you know, just shit everywhere. And then over here, I've organized my cupboard, which I'm really happy about because before it was a mess. So I've put uh, new shelves in and stuff and, so, and I've organized my clothes really nicely. So this is most of my clothes. It's just, uh, you know, it's just like a shoe rack sort of thing. And this is just, you know, 
uh, saves a lot of space and is nice and easy to use and I can you know easily find stuff and then once again me being too lazy to fold stuff I mean this is all clean but it's not folded uh, it's just you know bed sheets and towels and then these two are packaging materials for when I'm selling stuff on eBay and then those are jackets and I haven't actually used them this year so I guess I'll probably throw some of them away office crap paper crap computer crap and rags yay empty so i'll use that for something uh, my pixel pro reflector which i use a lot and some pieces of glass which i've got some really cool ideas for and actually one of them i've already used to make a really cool work box it's basically a see-through box that i can do sort of messy work in without getting dust everywhere and i'll have a video about how i made that on my third channel which is uh, diy and stuff i'll have a link to that down below down here Pixapro batteries, which I just borrowed from Pixapro, so I'm actually going to be sending those back. And that's the Ling stabilizer and the case for it. And I'm not sure what I'm going to put in here yet, but something. I also made a nice little shelf above the radiator here, which of course does have space between the shelf and the radiator. So this thing right here is a chair and a vacuum cleaner. So kind of a space saving kind of thing, but also because I wanted the vacuum cleaner to be really quiet. So that's a box with about four layers of uh, insulation and it's uh, just really, really dense materials, which I learned was actually the correct thing to use to block sound. So it's things like vinyl and that's, that's all stapled onto the inside of this. Another cool little project I did is I cut down my six foot punch bag to uh, less than half. And now I filled it with uh, foam. It's much more lightweight and just way easier to move. It used to weigh 65 kilograms. So it's basically like taking a person out of the cupboard and <laughs> dragging it over here and then connecting it to that. It was just a pain in the butt. It was super heavy. And now it's just as much fun. And you know, I don't care if it's realistic or whatever. I mean, I'm only punching it for fun. I'm not an actual boxer. So this is just, you know, uh, for fun, for sport. And now it's super easy, all I have to do is grab that like this it does obviously move around a lot more which doesn't bother me i actually find it really fun to have to sort of chase it around the room as it moves and so i find this to be quite a fun sport to do at home and i've got a couple of gloves up there in case i want them which doesn't really matter because i mean this is quite soft and lightweight so uh, it's not very difficult to punch but these help keep the noise down down here in this drawer, I've uh, reorganized this into little pouches, which I either ones I already had or ones I got really cheap, like in the pound store or for about one pound to 150 on eBay. This for me works really well because it's really compact. I mean, it can keep a ton of stuff in the same space compared to how much space was wasted when I was using plastic boxes. And also it's really easy to take the thing I need and you know, use it where I need it. It doesn't spill like, you know, just put it down the desk. If it gets knocked around and stuff, it doesn't spill over. If it gets pushed off the desk, it doesn't spill. And so I've got things like uh, various kinds of screws, hot glue sticks, paracord and strings and stuff like that in here. I've got one here for sandpaper, zip ties, stickers, key rings, that has large pieces of elastic and then small elastic bands. And this one, nails for putting up cables on the wall. Camera connectors and stuff go here. M6 size nuts and bolts. Got some pieces of leather in there and whatever the hell these things are called. Some sewing stuff. This one just has some random crap in it. 